Hello, and welcome to this video on installing SAP HANA and dynamic tiering using a graphical interface. Before proceeding, make sure all hardware and software requirements for installation are met. Watch the HANA Academy video on preparing to install HANA and dynamic tiering if you're unsure. In this video, learn how to install both products and optionally add the dynamic tiering worker and standby hosts at the same time. To begin the installation, log on to the HANA master host as the root user, change to the location where you extracted the HANA software, start the installer. The detected components are listed. If dynamic tiering wasn't one of them, it would be because the installer couldn't find the software given the way you started it. To locate the software, select Add Component Location and specify the path to the component. Since this installation found the dynamic tiering component, select Next. Select Install New System, then Dynamic Tiering. You can add the worker and optional standby host later by selecting Single Host System, or now by selecting Multiple Host System. If adding them now, select Add Host. Enter the fully qualified machine name of the Dynamic Tiering Worker Host. Select the Role drop-down arrow and choose Dynamic Tiering Worker. Accept the remaining defaults for high availability and storage partition. The worker role is added to the installation. Repeat these steps to add the standby host machine name and standby role. To use automatic failover, the worker and standby hosts must be assigned to the same high availability group. Otherwise, make the standby group name unique. On the System Properties page, enter a three-character ID for the system. Make the first character uppercase, with the remaining characters any combination of upper or lowercase letters and numbers. Use the next available instance number or specify a two-digit value between 00 and 98. The instance number must be unique on the host. For database mode, select multiple container to create a multi-tenant system. Otherwise, select single container. Specify the planned usage model for the installation. This value can be changed later if needed. You can manage memory on the host machine by limiting the amount of memory that the HANA system can use. This limitation applies only to the HANA host, not to the dedicated dynamic tiering hosts. Accept the default value or select Restrict and then move the slide to adjust the value. Accept the location for the HANA data and log volumes unless you're using a custom share location structure, in which case you'll specify paths to locations available to both the HANA and dynamic tiering hosts. Accept all certificate host properties. Enter a password for the HANA system administrator. Accept all system administrator defaults. Enter a password for the database user system. And finally, a password for the SAP host agent user. Accept the location for the dynamic tiering data and log volumes, unless you're using a custom share location, in which case you'll specify the paths to locations available to the dynamic tiering hosts. They don't need to be available to the HANA host. Begin the installation. The installation may take several minutes to complete. But when finished, a status message appears along with links to installation log files. In the event of installation errors, reviewing the log files can help troubleshoot and resolve problems. This concludes this video on installing HANA and dynamic tiering at the same time using a graphical interface. If you added the dynamic tiering host as part of the installation, the next step is to create extended storage. If you didn't add the host, the next step is to do so now. Watch videos on these and other dynamic tiering tasks on the SAP HANA Academy. Thank you for watching.